What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. These seven star Mewtwo raids are set to start this weekend, so today I'll be showing you a couple of Mew builds that you can use on your free Mews to take these raids down. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Bye. Bye. So per usual, let's go ahead and take a peek at what exactly we're going to be going up against once we do get into these seven star Mewtwo raids. So Mewtwo is of course going to be level 100 and is normally a pure psychic type. And for this raid, they are actually making it a psychic Terra type. So you know those psychic type attacks are gonna hurt. Ability wise, usually the seven star raids have their hidden abilities. However, its hidden ability is unnerve, which prevents Pokemon from using their berries, which I kind of think is inferior to pressure, which means that you are going to lose one additional PP whenever you do use a move. So I feel like that's a little bit more useful. So I kind of feel like it's actually gonna have pressure instead of unnerve. However, it could be either or. EV spread wise, Mewtwo is a little bit on the bulkier side. It does have an HP stat of 106 and it is going to be a pretty speedy Pokemon with a speed stat of 130. And obviously Mewtwo is going to be a special attacker with a special attack stat of 154. Defense wise and special defense wise, it is literally exactly the same. They are both at 90, so you could technically hit it on either side. And although physical moves are not its main strong point, it does still have an attack stat of 110. So definitely some stats that are nothing to scoff at. I mean, it is a legendary Pokemon after all. This is our first seven star legendary raid. As for its move sets, the moves that I can definitely see them throwing on there are number one, Size Strike, since it is 100 accuracy, and it is going to have a base power of 100 and is of course going to get that Psychic type stab boost since it is going to also be a Psychic Terra. I can also definitely see them putting Shadow Ball on there because I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to bring ghost types. So obviously that Shadow Ball is going to counter those ghost types for super effective damage. I can also definitely see them putting Aura Sphere on there, mostly because another Pokemon type that people are going to want to bring is Dark type, since technically Psychic type attacks will not be able to hit Dark types. However, I feel like they probably plan for that and are putting a Fighting type move on there as well, just to hit that for super effective damage. And if they wanted to be really evil, I can definitely also see them throwing something like Flamethrower on there in case you wanted to bring a Bug type. Mewtwo's moveset is obviously very vast, so they could bring a plethora of different moves, but these are the ones that I would be most concerned about. Mewtwo, of course, also gets access to setup moves like Calm Mind to raise its special attack and its special defense even more, and also moves like Recover, Amnesia to boost its special defense stat by two stages, and even things like Light Screen and Reflect to make sure that you're not able to hit it as hard, whether you bring special attackers or physical attackers. So there's definitely going to be a lot of possibilities when it comes to Mewtwo's moveset for the the main moveset as well as its support moves. But now that we have a better idea of what we're gonna be going up against once we do hop into these seven star Mewtwo raids, let's go ahead and hop into the Pokemon that my stream as well as some other PokeTubers have come up with in order to take these raids down. So hopefully at this point you have already gotten your free Mew via mystery gift, which if you haven't, you do still have time to claim the mystery gift before the Mewtwo raid starts this weekend. So definitely do not sleep on that because number one, it's a free Mew and number two, Mew is supposed to be getting stat boost when we do go into the seven star Mewtwo raids that are supposed to help you beat the raids. That's how you know that these raids are not going to be easy. But today I do have two different Mew builds that are possibilities that you can take into these raids, one of which my viewers came up with and another of which was made by a very talented PokeTuber named Osiris. So if you haven't seen his video, I'll be sharing his build as well. But starting off with the viewer made Mew build. This Mew is going to, of course, be a level 100. Usually Mew is also a pure psychic type, but for this Terra raid, it is going to be a bug Terra type. And that is obviously because bug types are going to be able to hit psychic types for super effective damage. And for its item, we do have it holding a shell bell just so that it does have a little bit of HP recovery throughout the raid as well. 
EV spread wide. We did go ahead and max out its HP as well as its special attack since of course Mew is going to be a special attacker. And ability wise, we do have the ability synchronize, which means that any status conditions that are applied to Mew will also be bounced back to Mewtwo. Moveset wise, we went ahead and gave it acid spray to of course lower that special defense stat, nasty plot to boost our own stats even more. And of course we have bug buzz and and a struggle bug on there. And we went ahead and went with these two bug type moves because number one, of course, like I mentioned, bug type moves are going to hit Mewtwo for super effective damage. But number two, bug buzz also has the added benefit of having the possibility of lowering Mewtwo's special defense stat by one stage. And when it comes to struggle bug, just like bug buzz, it is going to deal damage, but it also has the possibility of lowering Mewtwo's special attack stat by one stage. So they both have the secondary effect of lowering either special defense or special attack. So some great bug type moves. Moving on to the next Mew, we also have the Dark Terra type Mew, which like I mentioned, was built by Osiris here on YouTube as well. It is also going to be holding a Shell Bell. And what's great about Dark types is that they actually cannot get hit by Psychic types since they are immune to Psychic type Pokemon. So for his specific build, he went ahead and invested majority of the EVs in HP and special defense while giving it a special attacking nature, but also invested 52 EVs in speed. And that's going to help you outspeed Mewtwo, especially once you get those stat boosts when going into the raid. This Mew build is also going to have the ability synchronize as well. And moveset wise, it has Dark Pulse, Amnesia, Nasty Plot, and Acid Spray. Acid Spray is once again there to lower special defense, Nasty Plot to boost your own stats, Dark Pulse is going to be that hard hitting dark type move that will hit Mewtwo for super effective damage, and Amnesia is going to actually raise your special defense stat by two stages. And if you are looking for a great support Pokemon, you can never go wrong with Grim Snarl. Grim Snarl is of course going to be a dark and fairy type Pokemon. Also, don't pay too much attention to their Terras because I already had these built and I didn't have enough Terra shards to change their Terra types. Besides, you probably don't even need to Terra them if you are going into a group and you're using them as a support Pokemon. Usually it's going to be the attacker that's going to be tearing. But anyway, moving on. So dark and fairy type, which means that it also will not be able to be hit by any psychic type attacks. Grimmsnarl is going to be holding the light clay item. And EV spread wise, I went ahead and maxed out its HP as well as its special defense. And Grimmsnarl does have the ability Prankster, which means that it is going to have priority for status moves. Moveset wise, I went ahead and threw light screen, spirit break, fake tears, and taunt on there. Light screen, is on there for obvious reasons because you're probably going to want to go ahead and set up a screen so that your team is not taking as much damage from those big special attacks. And Spirit Break is on there for two reasons actually. So number one, it actually deals damage and number two, it has the added benefit of also lowering Mewtwo's special attack stat by one stage. Fake Tears is on there to lower Mewtwo's special defense and Taunt is there in case Mewtwo does have any of those setup type moves so you can prevent it from making itself any stronger than it probably already is. You could also definitely throw a different type of move on there, whether it be Thunder Wave, False Surrender, etc. If Grimmsnarl is not your cup of tea, another great support option is going to be Umbreon. It is going to be a pure dark type, which means that it will also be immune to any psychic type attacks. And I do have Umbreon also holding the light clay item. EV spread wise, Umbreon is also going to be full HP and full special defense, and is going to have the ability synchronize, which means that if Umbreon is affected by any status conditions, those are going to be bounced back to Mewtwo and he will be inflicted with the same condition. And moveset wise, I went ahead and threw Snarl Helping Hand, Fake Tears, and Light Screen on there. Obviously, like I mentioned with Grimmsnarl, Light Screen is going to help you negate some of that damage that Mewtwo is dishing out with its special attacks and also why it's holding Light Clay. Snarl is going to be there to lower Mewtwo's special attack. Helping Hand is there to help your attacker. And Fake Tears is there to lower special defense as well. Once again, you can also substitute out Light Screen for something like Thunder Wave. If you did want to do that, you could also toss a Wide Lens on there to make sure that it doesn't miss if you did want to go that route. And a reason that you might want to go that route is if you end up bringing an attacker like Spiritomb, which is of course a dark and ghost type Pokemon, which I do have holding a life orb, that is going to be using a move like 
Hex, which of course Hex's damage is doubled if your opponent is afflicted by a status condition. And you can also see how Umbreon's ability could come in handy here too, in case Mewtwo tries to hit you with any status conditions. Spiritomb's EV spread is also going to be pretty basic as well. It is going to be full HP and full special attack, just like the Muse. And the rest of the moveset is going to consist of Nasty Plot, Dark Pulse, and Shadow Ball. Nasty Plot to, of course, boost its own stats, Dark Pulse to hit Mewtwo for super effective damage, and Shadow Ball to hit for super effective damage. But there you have it, those are a couple of Pokemon that both my viewers as well as some other well-known Poketubers have put together that you can take into the 7-star Mewtwo raids. Leave a comment down below what you guys plan on bringing since I'm sure you guys have a ton of different builds as well. And let me know if you're going to be bringing Mew or your own attacker. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and if you did, I kindly suggest you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you are already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.